I'm too tall. I don't want to be this tall. I just want to be on camera with my knees. Hey kids, it's Emma and you're in my kitchen. Guess what? Uh, because it's summer and I don't have school, I'm gonna make YouTube videos again! Wow, Emma, you say this like every two days that you're gonna make YouTube videos and you're not making YouTube videos. You know what? I'll make YouTube videos if I want to make YouTube videos. Okay, so anyway, if you follow me on Snapchat, then you might see that I quite often post uh, kind of like cooking with Emma, uh, cooking tutorial videos. Well, anyway, I got some requests, so I thought I'd bring those YouTube, bring those videos from Snapchat to you, people of YouTube, you guys. Anyway, so I've been trying to be healthy. Um, I just, sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. Anyway, so I'm trying to be more healthy. And so most of these videos are probably going to be semi-healthy food options. Um, they might not always be the best for you, but like the best version of a different food. Uh, so even though I'm saying that, that doesn't mean that next week I'm not going to come back and film the how to make my Oreo chocolate chip cookies. Anyway, so today we're going to be making some yogurt breakfast bark. Uh, it includes granola and yogurt combined with berries into a frozen thing that you can eat at breakfast, lunch, snack, dessert, dinner, dessert again, maybe a third dessert. So three desserts later, you could still have that uh, yogurt bar because it's going to be healthy and hopefully very sweet tasting um, and something that's filling but not necessarily bad for you. Um, so let's go ahead and check out the ingredients. For the granola, you will need three cups of rolled oats, a cup of almonds, we're using sliced almonds, but you can use whole almond, almonds. Also a cup of chopped up walnut, a teaspoon of salt, a tablespoon of cinnamon, two thirds a cup of honey, as well as four tablespoons of oil. I'm using coconut oil, but feel free to use vegetable oil. For the second part, we will need one and a half cups of plain Greek yogurt, three tablespoons of honey, half a cup of blueberries, blackberries, four strawberries, and as well as the granola that we're going to make. Before you start, preheat your oven to 325 degrees Fahrenheit, not Celsius like the communists. Just kidding. All right, so I need you to bust out the best bowl you got in your house. My mom has a lot of glass bowls as options. Um, so once you find your bowl, go ahead and angle your camera so that the bowl's on camera. All right, so the first thing we're gonna add is three cups of rolled oats. Rolled oats. Why are they called rolled oats? Do they get rolled over? Is that what makes them rolled? Does a car come over and roll upon them? That way they are no longer oh, ball oats, but that they're rolled oats. All right, now you'll need a cup of almonds. I like the ones that are already sliced up because it's like I don't have to do the work. The work's done for me and they brown really nicely. So toss that in there. Sadly, we're not as lucky to have pre really, really chopped up walnuts. I'm just go ahead and grab the biggest knife that your family has. The one that if someone were to break into your home um, and possibly try to slash you, um, this would be the knife that you would choose. Um, don't look at my hands. I obviously need a manicure, so we're gonna put those away. They're still on camera, and we're gonna chop up our walnuts. Now, you don't want to accidentally hit your hand because you're doing the slasher's job for him. So we're gonna go ahead and hit only the walnuts. So we want it to be salty. Not salty like Hillary in the presidential race, but more salty like a piece of pretzel that's been left out in the park for a couple days and has not yet been eaten by the birds because it's too salty. To help counteract that over saltiness from that nasty pretzel, we're gonna add a tablespoon of ground cinnamon. Now to stir this, you can just use a spoon, but not just any spoon, but a spoon that's been decorated with the finest uh, silver plating. 
Very nice. So go ahead and stir together all your dry ingredients. You can get it nice and cinnamon -y. Wicked sizzle, we change sides. If you plan on making this for camping, you really want to be careful and make sure you lock up all your food because we're adding so much honey. Seriously, when Winnie the Pooh is going to be all up on this. Mmm. Look at that drizzle. Why am I using my left hand? That's not it. We're going to add two-thirds a cup of honey just to this granola. To make sure it all sticks together nicely, we're going to use four tablespoons of coconut oil. Now grab that spoon and go ahead and stir it up. Now just grab a cookie sheet and spread it on there. Don't worry, I washed my hands prior to the making of this video. Now we are going to put the granola into the oven for about 30 minutes while it cooks. While we're waiting for that 30 minutes to finish up, we can go ahead and start making our yogurt. All right, so now go and milk your cow named Hercules. That way we can get some Greek yogurt. But honestly, since Hercules was a demigod, it may be better if you get someone uh, more average. Possibly Odysseus. He wasn't a demigod, was he? I don't know what I'm talking So probably not Hercules. But we do want it to be slightly plain. You could possibly use vanilla. The recipe I found um, on goeatandrepeat.com uses plain. Um, we're going to add honey into it so that'll kind of bring out the flavor more. So you need one and a half cups. Ooh. Greek. It's so strong. Let me wiggle around. Ooh. recipe where I what I found calls for maple syrup but like I said to be able to sub and make things a little bit healthier we're going to use honey so three tablespoons on a separate pan lay out a thing of wow I'm so graceful of aluminum foil Ooh. world's gumpiest YouTube chef. Aluminum foil or you can use wax slash parchment paper. And then we're going to take our yogurt honey mix and place it on there. And smooth. You can set aside that yogurt, the yogurt tray while we prepare our strawberries and blueberries. Before you cut up your strawberries, you're gonna wanna wash these little suckers off. You don't know, they could have diphtheria, or they could have Ebola, or they could have Ethiopia, and you don't want that. You don't, you don't wanna get a disease from a strawberry, so go ahead and rinse them off. The recipe itself calls for three or four strawberries, though I have a feeling I'm probably going to want more because who doesn't love strawberries? At least I do when they're not causing diseases. So make sure you rinse them off. Chop off their heads like the Indians did to white settlers. We're gonna go ahead and um, skin them. So just take off their scalp and you can leave those on the sides. Um, you can keep them as trophies if you want. If not, um, you can throw them away at the end. Though it's kind of disrespectful. If you wanna gain the power from your enemies, you usually have to like eat them. Yes, don't cut yourself. I'm not liable for injuries. Just want everyone to be happy and healthy. Except these strawberries. They can die of Tarkingtons. What is... What? If that's like a real thing and it's really sad, then I'm sorry for making fun of it, but... Alright, now that these little bad boys are into fourths, we're gonna go lay them onto the yogurt. You're just gonna place your strawberries. Like I said, any way you want, it really doesn't have to be anything specific. Now you can throw in some blueberries and blackberries. Remember that we're also putting granola on here, so you don't want to take up too much room. Now 
Hopefully you're watching this video all the way through because if you're making your granola, you're gonna stir it because it looks like it's a little crispy. Ignore my oven, okay? I've taken the granola out of the oven and just plowing the land. Once your granola cools off for a little bit, I'm gonna go ahead and take some and sprinkle it onto your yogurt. And look at how much extra granola you have for other things. Now take your yogurt granola and move it into the freezer. It just needs to sit for about two hours for it to harden, or you can leave it overnight. Whatever's up to you. Once you're finished, seal it in an airtight container and enjoy the rest of your granola. While you're waiting, you should watch some of my other YouTube videos. I can't promise it'll be funny, but they're there and it's something to do. They should just kind of come right off of the aluminum, see? And then you can break it up. Not bad at all. Pretty good. I definitely eat this for breakfast. Or lunch or dinner or dessert. Mm. If you try to make some of your own Snapchat it to me at EmmaPing05 or tweet it at me at Emma Goodman. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next Tuesday.